Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So I wanted to make an announcement that I will be launching the Integration Designer course uh, on 20th of September, like today is 19th, 20th of uh, September, 7 a.m. New Zealand time, right? So my apologies that it took so long, but you know, as you know that, it's not an easy course to make, right? So but I put all my experience in it, just to make it okay now you must be wondering right why I'm showing this site All right, okay so to answer that question I'm not launching this course on Udemy or plural site now you must be wondering why right the reason why Udemy is too generic platform right and so do plural site I wanted to make a platform very specific to Salesforce right just do Salesforce, nothing else and everything to do with the certification I just wanted to put it here that's one of the reason why I made uh, this um, website. So right now you must be wondering what is this Inspirate solution, right? That's the name of my company. So now Inspirate is a Latin word, right? I took this word from a Latin which means inspiration, okay? So that's one of the, the uh, history behind the name so that I can inspire people to get into the Salesforce. That's the only reason I chose this name, okay? Now interface is pretty simple, right? I don't want it to complicate it. I don't believe in complicating interface. I'm not a web designer, right? I asked someone to build it for me, okay? So now I got options here, home, courses, and you know, so just to give you context, so these are the courses I got. And the good news is that most of the courses are free on this platform, except the integration designer one. I'll get to that in a second, right? So if you are after platform developer certification, uh, just go there and get enrolled, right? All you have to do, just log in and just get enrolled. It's free and design pattern. I talked about Apex design pattern. If you're interested, it's free. Um, App builder certification series, I put it as well. It's free. So. If you've been following along uh, on my YouTube channel, I have created, you know, platform builder, app builder certification, uh, sorry, platform developer one, app builder certification series, right? I put it here so that you can track the progress so that, you know, you don't have to go to different places. Just come here and, you know, and, and study here, right? And I wanted to make sure I put every architect certification course here related to Salesforce. Okay, now coming to the integration designer course. Now, you must be wondering, oh, this guy put it too expensive. Uh, it's, you know, $30. It's not 30 uh, USD, though. It's a 30 New Zealand dollar, um, so which is around 20 USD. It's not that expensive. You know, I could have kept 100 bucks, but, you know, because given the fact it's an architect course, then there's no course out there, you know, similar to this. So, but I just wanted to make sure that everyone can afford it. So I don't think 30 New Zealand dollar is a lot of money, okay? Uh, so I have planned to make every other Salesforce architect certification, right? There are two more system architect certification left. I will make that as well. I'm planning to make one, <coughs> excuse me, before December, and then probably by early January, <coughs> I'll make the other one. So that will complete the system one, then I'll get into the application, right? So you don't have to go anywhere else, just come here and get it you know, to just learn whatever you wanted to do. So that's the reason why I've, I've added a few of them as free. And I will make a lot of free certification and put it here, like PD2. That's what I'm making at the moment. I'll put that as here as well. Okay, now let's dive into the course, okay? Now you must be wondering, you know, that's the most important part. Okay, <clears throat> so once you register for a course, okay, and I'll show you how to register for the course as well, right? So once you register for a course, you come here, you start the course. So I added this, the content here introduction org performance in the org performance i talked about experience page time why it's important and the reports around experience page time talked about salesforce optimizer report then i talked about salesforce to salesforce integration then salesforce to Salesforce reports uh, i talked about integration parent it's a pretty long series uh, a different integration pattern, what is layer dimension what is time and volume dimension what is sharing dimension and error handling around it Right, then I talked about different design patterns, integration pattern here, right? And what are platform events. Then I also talked about ETL um, and external services. I mentioned what external services is all about. Uh, Salesforce Connect, you know, cross org adapter, Apex adapter, external object relationships, right? Which is very important for you guys to know uh, in terms of your certification. 
then data backup and restore, why it's important, then Heroku Connect and AnyPoint platform. I talked a bit about integration between Heroku Connect and Salesforce, as well as uh, I talked about the Moolsoft platform as well. Org scalability, I mentioned about why it's important, and Salesforce governance, which is very important. I have talked about the real life governance experience and implementing governance based on my real life architect experience. Uh, then I talked about certification and keys, right? And then I talked about remote site settings, which is pretty straightforward. Um, build integration using connected apps, why connected apps is very important, uh, right? And then talked about the secret, change data capture, right? Even, you know, did a trigger to explain how it works. APIs, APIs, you know, I talked about, you know, breast soap, um, then soap pistol to Apex converter. I talked about how you can convert your pistol to an Apex code. Composite API, which is very important. Um, user interface API, which is very important from an exam point of view. It's, you know, it's, I mean, I didn't cover it in extensive detail. I talked about what it's all about. Um, so bulk API, I, you know, I use Workbench to explain how it works and streaming API, which I talked about, you know, uh, you know, uh, APIs, uh, diff you know, different part of the streaming API. And so, you know, so, and so if you, if you go here, you know, just for, to give an example, if you click on bulk API, you can come here and it will, you know, um, so, so I talked about something like this. Okay, so we got this data, which is important. So this ID is very important. So using this ID, we will upload the data. So, you know, something like this, I've done the video. So if you've been following along, you know the way I teach. So I've used mostly Jamboard. I didn't use slides. The reason why I didn't use slides is pointless, right? If I wanted to show the slide, you can go to Trailhead and do it by yourself, right? So why bother, you know, learning from someone else, right? I don't like the concept of slides. I'm an old school guy. I believe that, you, you know, I came from a... Uh, background where you know my teachers used to you know teach using a markers or you know in a white chalk remember the good old days so and i learned better that way right so i wanted to imitate that using the google jam board so yeah and i talked about you know outdoor messaging then i talked about canvas uh api frameworks for architect large data volume which is very important you should pay special attention to that um, even monitoring, it's a small chapter. Bonus lecture, I talked about Mulsar integration pattern, question and answer, you know, the way you get, might get tested, you know, and I also talked about a few questions which Salesforce gives you as a sample in how to answer them and how to isolate, you know, your different choices. It will be handy for you in your certification, right? And then the conclusion, okay? So this is pretty much, I've, you know, wanted to, uh, teach you guys in terms of integration. This is good enough because I have followed exactly the same technique what I'm teaching you guys here to clear my certification, right? It's not a rocket science, right? And it is not difficult. It's not really a difficult certification. At the same time, it's not easy as well, right? If you are someone who came from a programming background, you might find this certification a bit easier to take. But if you're someone who, who uh, you know, came from a functional background, it might get a little bit tricky. But don't you worry, I I talked every single thing, you know, what you need to know to clear the certification. Okay, now to bind part of this course, right? So if you add to the code, right? So I logged in as a different user, right? So so you go add to the card, it will ask you to, you know, sign in. So you can sign in using, you know, Google if you, if you don't sign in, right? So it will not let you buy the course. So, uh, <laughs> So it remembers me in this um, because that's how, you know, it works because I've enabled a cache on in my laptop. So it remembers it. Uh, so you go to now you can go to your profile and you can look at it, whatever you want. Right. So now you're just going to go and add to the cart. Right. When you add to the cart, right, it's got added to the cart here. Right. So you go here and. And you go here, and I've I've integrated the PayPal, right? I've asked lots of people, and they say PayPal is the safest rather than giving you credit card. Credit card you can do using PayPal, so you go to PayPal here. If you do not have an account, right, um, then you can uh, just I'll show you. If you oh. so, don't worry about that one. So if you do not have an account, right, so that's fine. You can use pay with debit or credit card 
here you can put it and it does the job right so it's it's a pretty safe interface i just wanted to make sure that things are safe i don't want it to you know you know create another stripe interface and you know i i i've i've seen most of people using paypal and paypal is something i trust i've used it if i go to a site right i'm not comfortable putting my credit card information unless it's not from a paypal right so so if you guys think that paypal is not a great choice then do let me know i might add uh, other interface in the future okay so now i just wanted to mention one last thing so let me log out so you know you when you come to the site first time right so you know you can navigate to the stuff right you can go to the integration course here and you can look at the course but you can't actually enroll unless you sign in because you know i just wanted to make sure that random people don't just you know fiddle around so you can see the stuff but you can't actually you can't do it watch anything right if you wanted to see the content okay um so income when it comes to the login right i've enabled um a social login and i highly encourage you guys to use a social login instead of you know entering your username and password and register because this is 21st century right every site has an integration with the social login so you can log in using your salesforce or linkedin or google i might add uh, you know Facebook or Twitter in the latest stage, but I mean if you do not have any 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 account worst case scenario You can use this to log in, but I will not encourage it I would rather prefer you stick to your social login because then you don't have to remember different username and password, right? This is the safest way, right? And I don't have to uh, You know worry about any of your logins because anyway, I don't like I'm not saving any information either way, right? So that's why I'm saying that it's good to log in with the you know social login so this is the best option i mean i because the reason why i'm saying when i uh go and register in a site right i prefer to use my social login i don't want it to create a username because it's a it's a headache for me to remember different usernames and you know whatever so so and if you wanted to contact me you can email me right this is a preferred way i open monitor my account right and because of the time difference right i'm i may not able to answer your query in the night because you know i live in new zealand right so this is where i live um and you might have seen my youtube courses before and so that's where i teach so if you if you like my uh youtube series which you've been following along for almost a year then you will definitely like this course right and i'm not saying this just to boost myself but right now i haven't seen any course around this in the market so i thought i'd release it right so i have few plans okay so i'll tell you my plans as well so i wanted to create every system architect course okay so after this i'm going to create another one before uh december i will announce the name of the course uh probably in a month or so uh then i'll probably by early jan i will create another system market so that will complete entire system architect course right and you, i have given you free platform developer here platform app builder okay so if you wanted to pursue the platform um a system architect part you can come here and take it and learn from here okay um that being said i'm not saying that you should not study from a trailer trailer is still an amazing platform so this is a platform i just wanted to focus only on salesforce video series okay some people like to learn from video like i'm a big fan of video series so that's one of the reasons why i created it so that i can help you know other people in the community right and my apologies that if you think that I'm charging too much, like I said, 20 USD is not too bad, right? It's uh, 30 New Zealand dollars almost comes to roughly 20, 21 USD, right? So I haven't kept the price too high. If you think it's very expensive, do, do reach out to me. We'll sort out something for you, okay? So that's pretty much I wanted to, to cover today, right? And I'm not sure if you like my uh, website. I'm not a website developer. I got someone to build it like... You know, I don't have an eye for design, so I wanted to keep it very simple. I don't want it to overcomplicate it, so I, I built a very simple interface, right? All right, that being said, you guys have an amazing uh, Sunday. Take care.